Shalom, first and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ, whose correct names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered. Uh, throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say shalom. Who can be saved, and who are the Gentiles? And this is a question that is is is, is a hot topic right now amongst Israel, amongst a lot of these uh, these Edomites out here, and that 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 are are we're you know it's a spirit out there right now that you know. Where people are looking into these end time prophecies, people are, are are seeing what's going on in the world, and they want to know. Is, is, you know, they want to look into these things. They want to know, is there salvation for them? Can they be saved? You know, they, they want to try to find a way in, try to, especially Esau. All right, not so much more. Our people, our people are still, you know, two thirds of our people still got their head in the clouds. They don't see what's going on. But these Edomites, they could kind of see what's going on and they could see that, hey, we're potentially at a nuclear war. We're, we're at the end. All right, and they're looking into these things because they're terrified because, you know, hey, you, you read what you saw as the scripture says, and they want to see if is there a chance for them? Can they be saved? Who are these Gentiles? Uh, who are Apostle Paul's uh, um, epistles to? They, they're looking at all these things, trying to find a way in, and to make it and to, to cut to the chase. All right, I'm going to bring out some precepts and break these things down. Um, but to, to 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 make it give you a straight answer, no. The heathens can't be saved. The Gentiles are Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen nations. All right. And the only ones that can be saved are Israelites. All right. You have to be an Israelite from the line of uh, Abraham, Isaac unto Jacob, one of the 12 patriarchs, one of the 12 tribes. All right. And it's going to be our people are scattered amongst the heathen nations. So it's going to be Israelites that look like other nations that look like Moabites, that look like the so-called Chinese, that look like Japanese, that look like so-called Africans, that look like so-called white people, Edomites. But their spirit goes back to an Israelite. All right, that are going to be saved. That can that can be saved. But all the other nations, the heathens, they, there's no salvation for them. And I'm going to pull out several scriptures to to really push this point because um, this is a this is a heavy topic right now. You had you know uh, even at our our camp on Sunday, you had an Edomite trying to come up and try to um, he tried to uh, push the uh, point that Gentiles and you know apostle apostle Paul's epistles were uh, 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 um, talking to uh, Gentiles that were heathens. It was a, he brought a bunch of confusion, but this topic was also spoken of last week with this bug out vocab that you know he's a, 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 a avid uh, scoffer of the Hebrew Israelites that he comes out and tries to try to um, try to make the doctrine fit to um, save everyone, but that's not the that's not what the scripture says. All right. And then recently you had uh, after after the camp and after the Boston camp, they had a, a dialogue with a few Edomites that were look, trying to look into these things about who are the Gentiles and who can be saved. And this is a with everything going on in this world. This is a heavy topic because Esau knows they 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 they, they pretty much know this is the end of their kingdom. All right. So um, first, let me grab this. Uh, because you have to understand who salvation is for. All right, let me grab Matthew 1 and 21. This is a real, um, this is a milk scripture. Um, this is Matthew 1 and 21. And he shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus. But his name is Yahweh Shai, all right? His name's not, there was no letter J in, in, in the ancient world, all right? Or when our Lord was born. The letter J didn't come into existence until about the late 1500s. All right, so I'll start at the top. And he shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins, his people, that's, that's possessive, all right, the Lord had only one people, all right, the, the, the one chosen people, and really, he's only coming back to save the elect in these last days, and that, that people is Israelites, or Israelites, okay, so let me get this, let me go to Acts 5, because if we deal with the Old Testament, the Old Testament is just clearly talking about Israelites, all right, salvation for Israel, but, you know, people, um, going to the New Testament, and that's where they try to uh, uh, um, 
try to make make the covenants make salvation for everyone and that's not the case it's never been for the heathens all right um the lord has counted them as spittle the lord has counted them as nothing all right as the scripture says let me jump down to acts 5 and um um let me see um i'll start at 29 then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we, we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. The Most High of our fathers, the power of our father, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins to Israel. All right, not any other nation, but Israel. Okay, that, that, that's, that's plain. He, I read the scripture in Matthew 1 and 21. He, he came to save his people from their sins. All right, so Israel is the only one that can be saved. All right, let me grab this. Um, John 4 um, I'll, I'll start at, uh, 21 and Yahweh Shai said unto her, woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the father. Ye worship, ye worship, ye know not what we worship, what we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. So, so and, and the only ones that can receive salvation is the, is the Israelites. All right, let me go to, because uh, this is what they try to bring out at, the, at that camp after Boston. They tried to bring out the mass multitude in um, Revelations, all right? And I'm going to start at verse 9. Uh, Revelation 7 and 9. After this, I beheld in lo a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb. The Lamb is Jehovah Shai, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. This is the elect. All right, that this is that one third. All right, that great multitude. It said they came out of all nations. So when you hear that, oh, well, uh, um, Jesus is saving everyone. It said all nations. All right, but when you look into these words, all right, that's why you have to do a diligent search in these scriptures. You just can't be surface level. All right, if you want to get a true understanding, all right, you have to look into these words and look out what, what the word multitude and nations and kindreds. Look what these words mean. Okay, and I'm going to do that. Um, you see, nations, ethnos, ethnos, mm, a great multitude, you see, which no man can number, out of all nations, ethnos, and it tells you clearly right here, and this is the, this is the clearest um, uh, um, point right here. Paul used the term for Gentile Christians. All right, but I'll read this, uh, the second one, a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus, meaning the same gene, the same family line, it says human family, the same line. So the Lord made the Lord made 18 nations, all right? It didn't say all nations. It said a tribe, a nation, a people, group, or it says Paul used this term for Gentile Christians, who, and who can be a Christian, all right? You're not Christianity. Christian, all right. The Christian were a were followers of of the Lord, followers of the Anointed. Let me grab that in um, the Book of Acts, and I'm gonna jump back to that too because there's a. And I'm gonna get that in Acts, uh, the uh, second chapter also. Um, this is Acts 11, and uh, was it nine? Let me see. Is it 12? Here it is. Here it is. Acts 11 and. Um, Where is it, 11? Here it is. Uh, Acts 11, 26. And when he found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And who were the disciples? Why were they calling the disciples Christians? They weren't calling everyone Christians. They called the disciples Christians. And the word Christian, Hamashiach, Okay, that that's a they use it as a derogatory term to label the the followers of Yahweh Shai, the followers of the Anointed. All right, so they use they call them Christians. 
They were poking fun. They were talking shit. Okay, and you go to this word Christians, Christo, uh, Christianos, is, and it reads, a Christian follower of Hamashiach, follower says Christ right here, okay? Those were follow, and everyone in that day didn't follow our Lord, okay? Because, of course, they they, they, they uh, persecuted him, they crucified him, all right? You didn't have the uh, uh, the Edomites, you didn't have the Moabites, you didn't have the Ammonites, you didn't have the Assyrians, they, they weren't following the Lord, but, but nowadays, you know, anyone that says they confess, uh, they, 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 they accept uh, Jesus Christ in their life. It could be a Christian. You can go to the Christian church or oh, I'm a Christian. No. All right. Christian is it, Christian. Uh, uh, the term Christian is exclusive as being called an Israelite. It's not for everyone. All right. It's not it's, it's not a uh, it, it's an exclusive group. All right. And they were being called Christians, which, like I said, was a derogatory term. It says the name was given to worshipers of Yahweh Shai by the Gentiles. But the second by the second century, um, Onward accepted by them as a little uh, as a title of honor, it, and it was like I said, it was a, it was a derogatory term. Okay, it wasn't a a a a, um, a, um, a, 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 a title of honor. All right, um, but they were followers of the Lord, and every, like I said, everyone wasn't a follower of the Lord. So let me jump back here to uh, the word nations. All right, because like I said, people will see this Edomites, Edomite Christians. All right, bugged out Israelite Christians, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that want to graft and to have everyone part of the covenant, have everyone can be saved, and that's not the truth. And a lot of our people that believe that and think that they're going to go down right along with these with these with these bugged out Edomites that 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 want to graft, they want to adopt these uh these heathens into our covenant. Okay? So let me grab this real quick uh before I make this point. Acts 2. Um so let me read this. Um Ethnos. Uh, back in uh, Revelation 7 and 9, I'll read it again. And after this, I beheld a low, a great multitude, which no man could number of all the nations and kindreds. I want to get that word too. And people in tongues stood before the throne, before the lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So let me get uh, the word kindreds. You have to look into these words. And these Christians don't want to look into these words. And Esau they're regretting right now that they, they 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 came up with this blue letter, all right? And the blue letter was really created by the Most High for us to understand this truth and bring this truth out. Kendrick, a tribe in the New Testament, all persons descending from one of the 12, 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob, a nation, a people, all right? So it's, it's, it's clearly talking about the Israelites. All right, let me grab Acts 2 and um, I'll start at 4. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues, meaning speaking in different languages. And the Spirit gave them utterance. All right. This is the, 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 the 12. When they received the Holy Spirit, they began to speak in tongues, speak to these different uh, uh, these different uh, languages. All right. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. All right. So they were they were there for the they were. Um, these nations, these these Israelites, excuse me, scattered amongst these other nations that knew they were Israelites were living in these other lands. They were there for the Feast of Pentecost, all right, during that time. And now when this noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because every man heard them speak in his own language. So you had uh, the 12 prophesying in these different languages where these other Israelites that were scattered um, were, all right? And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another behold are not all these which speak galileans all right and they were they, they were they were tripping out this is like for instance today i'll give you an example like say if a camp all right is in the middle of times square and, and but they start one brother's prophesying in chinese another brother is prophesying in, in, in mandarin another brother is prophesying in, in, in italian uh, uh, uh one brother's prophesying in um in German, they're prophesying in all these different languages, and all the Israelites, all right, the spirits on these, you know, these scattered Israelites that, you know, and um, they hear their, they hear that they hear the, the word of the Lord in their, uh, in their, their native tongue, and they're, and they're confounded. They, 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 the spirit of, the spirit of, is on them to, to and compel them to, to come in, okay, and, and that's what essentially happened. That's how a lot of these Israelites are, are going to be caught, all right. You know, it's, Israel, it's brothers out there that prophesy. In uh, um, different languages, okay. So that's another. That's just another example how um, 
That's another example how uh, uh, the Israelite Israelites were scattered amongst these heathen nations. All right, the the dias diaspora. All right, where Israel went from captivity to captivity, and during these captivities, we, we have become scattered. We our men married amongst the heathen women. All right, and they had sons, and their sons may have married another heathen woman, and and, and that cycle um, continued until they lost their heritage, until they were took on the took on the ideologies, the customs. Of these heathens all right and that that's how we were scattered that's it that was a big that's a big curse that was a, a huge curse unto our people let me grab that real quick it's like yeah, i'm all over the place but i just want to you know hit some points and uh you know really break this down because this is a this is a hot topic right now because we're living in the end times and, and you know hey these people see what's going on and they're looking out there like yeah damn is there salvation for me can i can i receive salvation you know uh, who could receive salvation or may, maybe I could receive salvation. No, it's only for Israel. It's always been for Israel. This is Deuteronomy 64, excuse me, 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, all people. Let me look this up. It didn't just say uh, amongst Jerusalem, all people. Um, let me see. What's this word? All, ho, ho, each to, to, uh, totality, everything. Uh, let me go back. And people is more than likely nations. Uh, let me get it again. That's why you got to look up these words. I'm going to go back and read it. Uh, people. Um, people, nation, persons, member of one's people's uh, compatriots, countrymen, kinsmen, kindred. All right, let me go back and read the verse. It or it reads, um, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all. Actually, let me start at 15 to give it context. It's, um, this is Deuteronomy 20 and 15. But it shall come to pass that if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to, serve, to observe and do all these commandments and statutes that I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And, and this was a major curse because we were scattered. All right, and you don't people don't understand that the 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 being scattered that's a big deal, okay? Where you could have someone that lives next door to you, all right, that is your kinsman that 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 comes from your line and you don't even know it, all right? And and, and you know that that that's that's you could walk past someone on the street that that that's literally your brother and you don't you don't even know it that that that's 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 a big deal, all right? To think that yo I'm just I'm walking past this person, or I see this homeless person out there, and that's my that's my my brother, and you know I don't even know it because we were scattered. You think this person's a heathen? You think this person's a a, a Hamite or Edomite? And, and that's your that's literally your brother, okay? It, it, um, and, and you can't and you don't even know it. All right, that's how that's how that's how that's a heavy curse upon our people. All right, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. All right, and that happened. That that took place. All right, and it's spoken of plenty of times in the scriptures where the Lord said He would scatter us. All right, but He would when He scattered us, He would bring us back also. All right, verse uh, this is Deuteronomy four twenty seven. The Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left. Ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. All right, so we're going to be small in number amongst these heathens. All right, that, that, that goes for a lot of these Israel, because a lot of Jakes here are here in America, but it's a lot of Israelites that are scattered amongst the world where it may be Israelites in Taiwan, it may be Israelites in Japan and Korea, but they're small amongst the heathen. All right, let me get this word nation. I want to see what this word, I think it's the same word as the other word, people, nations. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me read verse 28. And there thou shalt serve God's, the work of man's hands, wood and stone, uh, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him if thou seek him in all thy heart and with all thy soul. All right. So that's a that would be Israelite Israel coming returning back unto the law, statutes, and commandments to, unto the name of the Lord. You know, the Lord quickening and quickening us with his spirit. All right. Um. So yeah, you know it's 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 a, it's a heavy topic. You can go into many. You can I can hit so many scriptures about 
you know, who could be saved, but his salvation is only for Israel. Okay, and let me get this scripture because this is this is also speaking of the the multitude um, of coming in. Let me see. Um, um, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter two. Um, let me see where I want to start at. Yeah, I started at. Um, I'll start at verse 41. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 41. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled, beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed. This is talking about the end time. This is talking about um, uh, Yahweh Shai coming back and, 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 and uh, making us white, making us uh, uh, pure, all right, the elect. It says, which have been called from the beginning. That's a cut right there because everyone wasn't called from the beginning. Only the Israelites were called from the beginning that they may be hollow. All right. That in hollow means separate. All right. Meaning holy. All right. And Ezra saw upon the Mount of Zion, a great people whom I could not number. And they, and they all praised the Lord with songs. That's talking about the elect. We're going back to Revelations, the seventh chapter in the ninth verse. All right. That, that, that great multitude. And in the midst of them, there was a young man. This is Yahweh Shai of high stature, taller than all the rest. And every and of every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? And he answered and said to me, these are they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal and having and have confessed the name of the most high. Now they are crowned and receive palms. That's talking about the elect. So this is clearly talking about the end times. This is talking about after the destruction when the elect are, are crowned in, uh, uh, by Yahweh Shai, or where the elect are redeemed. And the heathens have nothing to do with this. The heathens have no uh, partaking in any of these ceremonies, any of these uh, 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 these heavenly things, these heavenly events that are going to take place. All right. And so I asked the angel and, and said, sir, what are these? Oh, so like, yeah, I read that. Um, and then said, uh, said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them? that giveth them palms in their hands. So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend, to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, go thy way, tell, tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders the Lord thy power thou hast seen. And this is that the vision that the prophet Ezra said, God, he saw the vision. He saw the vision of the end he saw the vision of the uh, uh, the elect being crowned. But going back to this point right here, the, hey, which have been called from the beginning, that thy people, all right? The, the Lord is only has only ever been for the for Israel, all right? He's never been for any of these heathen nations. Let me grab something real quick. Um, this is Deuteronomy, excuse me, uh, Revelations 21 and... Um, uh, here it is. Um... New Jerusalem. This is uh, Revelation 21 and 10. And he carried me away in the spirit of great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven of the Most High. And that's the elect coming down. All right. Having the glory of the Most High in her light was like unto stones most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear and crystal. And it was a great wall high and had 12 gates. The point is 12 gates. And the gates had 12 angels and the name written thereon, what, which was the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. This is New Jerusalem. It's not talking about the heathens. The heathens have no part taking in this. All right. So the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Okay. It didn't say that, uh, um, you know, the 12 tribes and these nations and these nations and these nations would come down and the Edomites oh, and the mass multitude. No, those mass multitude were Israelites. Okay. That 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 return unto the heavenly Father, okay. That were that were that were whose eyes were have been open, okay. Um, now let me get into the Gentiles because that's what these Edomites, they like to they like that's they that's they that's they 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 go to right now the the, the Gentiles, okay. Um, shit, let me get a and I can just hit a few of these scriptures in Apostle Paul's uh, 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 epistles. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would have, I would, I would not have you ignorant 
ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as we were led. All right, it says ye were Gentiles. All right, now not that you're Gentiles anymore, you were Gentiles, meaning that they 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 were in a, a a Gentile state of mind. All right, they were living amongst Gentiles, they were living amongst heathens. All right, adopting these hedonistic ways, calling these ways their gods, their own, but they came out of that, just like Israelites in this captivity in America. We were calling ourselves black. We were calling ourselves African-American. We were calling ourselves Latinos and Mexicans and Cubans and, and Puerto Ricans, uh, 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 Belizeans. And Jamaica. we were calling ourselves all this crazy shit. All right. Doing eating abominable foods, following after vain ass customs of the heathens. All right. But now we've returned and, and we return back to our heritage. We return back unto the names of the Lord. We begin to follow the law, such commandments. All right. Of course, we can't follow the law, such commandments to 100 percent. OK, but we, 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 we doing what we can. And now we're not we, we, we were once were Gentiles, as the scripture said. But now we've um, we put away these dumb idols. We put away these vain, vain thoughts and vain um, ideologies of the heathens. OK. Um, oh, let me grab this in John. Uh, John 7 and uh, 30. Yeah, I'm going to get this in a different translation too. Uh, John 7 and 35 then said the Jews among themselves, whether will he go that sh that we shall not find him? Will he go into the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So let's get these words right here. Let's first, let's get dispersed. Shall we go to the dispersed? Diaspora. And the definition is scattering dispersion of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. The Christians scattered abroad well, i just went to that word christians in um acts the 11, 11 11 and 26 all right to break that down of christians scattered abroad among the gentiles all right of israelites dispersed the israelites were dispersed that was a curse that was a curse amongst us okay that we would be dispersed that we would be into all of this bullshit okay but now we're returning now we're coming back okay let me get this another translation real quick to give it e easier for you could you, when you get into other, these other Bibles, man, this is this is so plain. Uh, this is the uh, oh, shall I read? The, I read a few of them. The Jews said to one another, "Where did this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks?" Uh, let me get the NLT. The Jewish leaders were puzzled by this statement. Where is he planning to go? They ask. Is he thinking of leaving this country and going to the Jews in other lands? Maybe he will even teach the Greeks. So there were there were Israelites, Jews amongst the Greeks. Okay, that's simple. Let me see any other translations. Uh, I'll read this. The C the C S B. Then the Jews said to one another, where does he intend to go tend to go? So we won't find him. He doesn't intend to go to the Jewish people, disperse among the Greeks and teach the Greeks, does he? This is simple. All right. And, and this is the scripture we bring out to, to, to show these Christians that our Lord, he did not come to save everyone. He came to save Israelites. All right. He said he's came to um I'll, let me get this real quick. Uh Matthew 10 and 6, um, it reads, let me start up, let me see. These 12, these 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them saying, go not, go not into the way of the Gentiles. And that's speaking of uh, Gentiles, heathens. All right. You have to be spiritual to see these things. All right. And into any city of the Samaritans enter not, but rather go to the lost house of Israel. How were they? Why were they lost? Because they fell away. All right, they were dispersed. They were scattered. Like I said, that was a curse. That was a heavy curse where that's how one of the main reasons we lost our heritage, okay? Um, let me see. Uh, um, so let me go back to, uh, I'm gonna get this in uh, Galatians 2. Because these, these 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 Edomites, they try to do a diligent search, but they 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 can't they can't find a way in. 
All right, because there's, there's no way in for them. All right, yeah, that's what it really boils down to. There's no way in, way in for these heathens. All right, this is uh, Galatians 2 and 7. But contrarywise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me and the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter because Apostle Paul was a um, apostle unto the to the circumcision because, uh, excuse me, the uncircumcision, meaning they were Israelites scattered. They, they were, um, you know, not just uncircumcised, you know, physically, but they were uncircumcised in their mind because they were following after these uh, customs of the heathens. They they were, you know, like unto the heathens. They were, you know, following the customs of the Greeks, having bald heads and tattoos and, you know, into all kind of bugged out, you know, wicked activities. Okay, but he was committed unto them, all right, because he did, he spoke a lot of these uh, different uh, languages uh, um, of these heathens also, okay, because he was, uh, he was raised, uh, um, he was, a, he was a, uh, he was a uh, Israelite, but he was um, he was raised he was raised around heathens. Also, it says, but contrarized contrari when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, and the gospel of the circumcision unto Peter. And let me get this. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is, verse eight. For for he was wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision. The same was mighty in the in me towards the Gentiles. And I'm gonna get this word Gentiles. Uh, I think it's Hellenist. No, oh, excuse me, ethnos. Ethnos. Uh, a multitude of individuals of the same nature. I, I, I went into this earlier. And Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. And this this keeps coming up. Gentile Christians. And Christians were the Israelites. All right. So if you can go, I'm, I'm just gonna grab a few more. Because you know I'm, I'm being kind of long-winded, but I just want to hit some points on the on who the who these Gentiles are. All right, they're not they're not they're not heathens. Um, Paul an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Yahweh Mashiach of the Most High and the Father who raised him from the dead. To all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. So these epistles were to um, uh, Corinth, the Corinth. Galatia, Ephesus, uh, Colossus, uh, Thessalonica, uh, uh, Philemon, uh, you know, uh, he wrote it to Timothy, um, the Philippians, uh, the, the Israelites in Rome, all right, to the book of Romans, all right, so the, the, these epistles were, were are, are epistles of letters, all right, and he wasn't, he, he wrote them to the church of Ephesus, the churches of Thessalonica, he didn't, wasn't writing them to those uh those cities per se he was writing them specifically to the church to the israelites in those churches okay so so and so um the, these epistles is like a it's like you write a letter all right when you write a letter you don't write a letter to everyone on the damn block you write a letter to a specific address okay um where do i want to go uh salakia um Oh, I was reading Galatians. Okay. Um, Grace be to you, peace from the Most High, our Father, and from our Lord, Yahweh Shai Machiah, who gave himself for our sins, that we might be delivered from the present evil world according to this will of our Father, uh, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Um, actually, I, actually, I want to get this word where it says, to all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatians. It says, all the brethren. And you go to this word, brethren, aldephos, al a brother whom born of the same two parents, let me see, having the same national ancestors, belonging to the same people, countrymen, all right? It wasn't talking to uh, shit. It wasn't talking to everyone. Right here, brethren of Hamashiach, his brothers by blood, all right? And if you go to Romans, which Christians hate, which Christians really hate to go to, Romans 9, uh, you can start at the top. I can start at the top. And I say, the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness of the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continue sorrow in my heart, for I wish I could have, I wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, and it's, a pretty, it's the same word, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, who pertain to the adoption. Those are the ones that could be adopted back. Let's look up this word adoption. Who pertain to the adoption? 
adoption, adoption of son, that relation which the Most High was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations. That's, you, that's it right there. Those are the ones that could be adopted back. Those are the Gentiles that were being adopted back because they lost their heritage. They lost their way. All right. A nature of condition of true, uh, true disciples of Hamashiach by who receiving the Holy Spirit into their souls became sons of the Most High. All right. They, they received the Holy Spirit. They were quickened with the Spirit. Those Israelite foreigners, those Gentiles, those Greeks, those Romans, those uh, 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 those heathens that were living amongst these Israelites, they received the Holy Spirit and they came back to the heritage, just like was taking place right now. All right, the Israelites are receiving the Holy Spirit and they're coming back to the heritage. Their, their eyes are being awakened. All right, let me go back uh, and finish this. Um, who whose are the fathers and whom, as concerning the flesh of Mashiach came, he came for them. Who is who is Overall, blessed, most high blessed forever. Amen. All right. So, you know, that's, that's, that's all I really, I, I can go on forever with the Gentiles because there's so many scriptures that you could bring out even at the beginning of a lot of these, a uh, lot, lot of these epistles. You could just bring out like Paul, an apostle of Hamashiach. And you just, I go to the beginning of this so you can see who he's specifically talking to. You even got to go through all this stuff with the Greeks and the uh, it's nothing. It's neither Greek nor Jew. They like to bring that out, okay? But we break this down and simplify it, or right, even though they can't see it, to show you that those Greeks were were Israelites. To the saints and faithful brethren in Hamashiach, which are at Coloss. To I'm gonna read that again. This is to the saints and faithful brethren in Hamashiach who are at Coloss. Grace be unto you and peace. From the Most High, our Father and our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, and, and and it's beautiful that this blue letter was created. But the Most High used Esau to create this blue letter for, for in the last days, for so we could be able to. Uh, it's like a cheat code to break down these scriptures. All right, it's like cliff notes to break down these scriptures. So so you know, hey, the, the elect can be here. The elect can be uh, uh, quickened with the Spirit and, and get the help. We can get the hell out of here. This is uh, Hagios. Um, Saints, no, 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 we go, we, we know who the saints are. The saints are, um, it's several scriptures. Let me get this, uh, Psalm 51 and, uh, 51. Uh, let me see. Psalm 50 and 5. Sorry. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Those are the Israelites. Those are the ones that made a covenant with the Heavenly Father by sacrifice. This is uh, Psalm 148. And um, shit, I'll start at uh, 13. Uh, let, praise, let, let the praise of the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above all the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people in praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So it's, it's clearly showing you who the saints are. All right. It's, it's not a mystery who the saints are. OK. And, and like I said, I can go through all, all of, uh, um, the epistles. OK. And, and show you who these. you don't have. These guys got to go to the beginning and show you who he was talking to. Um. I'll start it. I'll do this. I'll do the last one. I'll do Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by the will of the Most High, to the, oh, to the saints who are in Ephesus. It's, it's simple. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.